Let me show you how to build a training template. Click Programs. Now this is where you'll build all of your templates. You can see a template I've already created here called Strength Accumulation. This is a training cycle card, which is made up of two four-week blocks of training. To create a new one, select Create Template. This first step will be to create the training cycle card. So label it accordingly, such as the name of a competition like nationals or the overall goal of the training, such as intro to powerlifting. It's totally up to you. The next step is where you'll start creating the blocks of training. While my training cycle is going to be split into three blocks of training, hypertrophy, strength, and peaking, each being four weeks in length, I'm only going to focus on the first block right now, the hypertrophy block. Choose how many weeks this program will last and the number of sessions per week you want to work out. You can add filters to the program for ease of reference in the future, however, I'm going to ignore those for now. The one thing you might want to consider writing is a description because athletes will see this when they receive the program. Click next and you'll see your blank training days. The columns are the weeks and the rows are the training days. I'm going to build out day one of week one. Click add exercise. Now I want to program a squat, so I'm going to build out the sets, reps, and load. I add any notes, and then press save. I'm going to repeat that process for two more exercises. Take a look. This day is now finished. Now I want to copy day one to each of the following weeks. Select the copy icon on the workout, then choose week two, three, and four. If I want to add any progressions to the load as I copy the workouts, I can click here and add my progressions. For example, I want to add 3% to each of the copied workouts, so I don't have to add low progressions manually. Now once copied, I can make any small adjustments to the workouts using the quick edit. Just simply click on a training day, then change the sets or reps or anything as needed. I've now built out the entire training cycle and it's complete. I can now go back to my programs tab and add my second block of training. I can do that in two ways. I can either start from scratch by pressing the new programs button, or if I want to use my first block as a base, I can duplicate it, change the name, Then edit the program with the appropriate progressions. Again, it's totally up to you. So that's how you build a training template. If you wanted to build out a customized training program for a specific athlete, which is not based on a template, you can do so by following the same process. However, instead of building it out under the programs tab, you will find an athlete, click their programs folder, and then build a program from here by pressing build program. That's all for now. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a support message.